sing, actually? I do. <laughs> I really do. Yes, please. I sing a little um, excerpt okay. of the cantata. OK, lovely. Yes. It's quite a few years ago now. Yes. I was in the middle of a class with somebody else. I think someone's singing a little bit of Baroque. I said, I'm so sorry. I've just got to go and see who this is. And the, it was the biggest surprise of my life because it was a little black boy. And I was just, I think I said, who's, who's teaching you? He was like, no one, no, no. I said, well, <laughs> what are you playing? Oh, it's just something that I, I'm making up. So I went to see the head of music and I begged her, I've got to teach this boy. The head of music at the school, she told me, she said, well, you know, he is unusual um, and he, he's, he's got uh, autism. I first met Michael when he was seven years old. I just remember he would get under the table to hide, beating a rhythm on the table and hum. So that's probably, not, not that we knew then, but that's probably where sort of like the seeds of his musical talents were. He didn't have the words to communicate, he didn't have the language, but he certainly had the musical notes going on in his head. He's scared of what people are going to think of him, how they're going to see him. And at the same time, he's saying that he doesn't want everybody to see him as the artistic boy that can do classical music. But at the same time, he's just afraid. Um, let me take my... There we go. That is much more better. And there's some tissues, unless, you, you know... You need to cover your water. Yes, I do, yes. Small little fibres will travel into the glass. As a child, I used to hum tunes and I used to sing out loud. I don't think I was aware that people don't like that. I was autistic and, and children did not understand that and they thought I was weird. I kind of liked that because I was free, completely free. That is that. 